This is a lesson from our character animator animation course. To get the full course, go to blueanimation.com slash character animator animation. In this video, we're gonna look at making a character animator puppet using 3D graphics or even photographs. So here we've got an example of a character made out of 3D artwork. So let's take a look at what I started with as far as assets for this. So here I have a series of images that were exported from Maya as PNGs with transparent backgrounds. And I have one for each of the different mouth positions that we need for our lip sync behavior. And I have a set of all the mouth positions for different angles of the character. Also, separately from that, I have a series of images of the eye going through a long blink animation also from different angles. So I then took these images into Photoshop and assembled them into a puppet that works the way our character animators puppets work. So if we switch over to our rig, I can show you how I broke down the character. So to start with, I took one of the front views of the character and I Photoshopped out the head leaving enough space here to overlap with the artwork that's part of the head group. Then for the head, I cut out a section of one of the front views of the head and I photoshopped out the eyes that were on there because we're gonna have our eyes as a separate layer here. And for the mouth, I used a layer mask to mask out all of the different positions for our mouth. And I arrange them just like we would if we had drawn these by hand. And then for the eyes, I did a similar thing where I photoshopped out the pupil and left just the white of the eye and then recreated the pupil on a separate layer and then tagged all of those appropriately, just like we've done on other eyes, so that they can function with all of the behaviors correctly. Then for the eyelids, I did something a little different than we've done in the past. I have the series of images here, and I went through and I photoshopped out the whites of the eyes so that we just have the lids themselves over top of the eyes we built to function in Character Animator. And on this group of lids, I added a layer picker behavior. So we're gonna control the expressions of the eyes using the index offset on that layer picker behavior. Now, since I have those lids in a group like this, I had to handle the blinks a little differently than we've done in other lessons. So here I've got a group for left blink and right blink, and those are nested inside their own groups. Now the face behavior will still recognize these blink layers even though they are not in the group with all the other elements of the eyes. But one thing to know about the blink behavior is that whatever you have set as the blink layer, when that is triggered, either by a trigger or by the face behavior, it's going to automatically hide everything that's in the same group as it. So that's why these left blink and right blink layers can't be in the same group because one would just hide the other. But I also can't just put them in the groups with their respective eyes like we would normally do because I need to have them over top of the lids layer so that they'll actually cover up whatever we have set as the expression for the lids when the eye blinks. So then over top of that, I have a isolated version of the collar, just in case we need to obscure this seam. And other than that, that's how the character needed to be broken up for the frontal view. For the left and quarter view, I kind of cheated and didn't go all the way in setting up the eyes. I basically just brought in each of the mouth positions, the full image of the character, and I nested those inside the mouth group so that the um, lip sync animation would still function. So the lip sync will still work for these views, but we don't get all of that expressiveness in the eyes and stuff. 
I figured mostly this character is going to be looking at the front view. So since this character isn't made out of nice separated layers of artwork for all his features, there are some tricks I needed to do to get a little more expression into this static image. So on the frontal view, if we look at the head, I'll just zoom in so we can see how I set up the eyebrows on this character. I added control handles using the handle tool to the face here, and I tagged them as the left or right eyebrow. So those control handles will be moved by the face behavior instead of a layer that's tagged as left and right eyebrow. Now, if we just added those handles, it would distort the whole head. So I added in these sticks to keep the rest of the head rigid and only allow this region where the eyebrows are to be distorted by the movement of those handles. So if we move over to record, you can see we do get a little bit of expression on the eyebrows as I move mine up and down. Then I did something similar on the mouth. This time I added handles to the corners of the mouth and I tagged them with the transform tag. So that means that these points will be controlled by the transform behavior, which I added on to the mouth group layer. This gives me a set of controls for the transform handles that it detects here under target handles. So when I adjust these properties, it will move these handles in accordance with the changes I make here. And like before, I added sticks to the top and bottom of the mouth group so that the artwork for the mouths will stay lined up with the underlying head artwork. So if we go over to the record tab and go down in our behaviors and find the one for the transform on the mouth, now, if I change the position Y, the mouth can go up and down, and we can get slightly different expressions. Now, since I have multiple things that I'm controlling over in the behaviors, I added sliders for both of those here in the controls panel. I have one for the mouth position Y, and one for the index offset on the eyelids. So I should actually rename this eyelids. Then if we set those to perform mode, I can adjust the eyelids with this slider. And I can change the mouth position with this one. 